Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for watching. Basically where we're at the moment is we've got to mark and work out where all the levels for the steel spreader plates are. Because what we need is to make sure that all four spreader plates that you can see there are all level with each other. So when the steels are on, our floor space is level. So we've got two there and then there's two there. They'll go across the bathroom wall there and they'll be taking the joists and the uh, trimmers for the stairs. And you've then got your two corner ones there where there'll be a steel running across the back ready for the extension. So I've got to make sure they're all level so the floor's level, but also, which is key, is make sure that the steels and the joists that sit in the steels travel across and above the existing walls that we're keeping, which is the bathroom and that one in the corner. The timber stud ones can be built up to the ceiling, so that doesn't matter. But what I don't want to have to do is chip away brickwork, especially in the bathroom with the tiles. So we've got to make sure that we're right and that the clearances are right. So what I've done is I've used a laser level. Um, I did have a rotary laser level, but that got damaged as well. So I'll do a separate video showing how to use the rotary level. But this is how I managed to get all the levels set using the most basic type of level that you'd use, which has got a vertical and a horizontal beam. So I've set it on one of the walls, as you can see there. There it is sat on the bathroom wall there. And I've got a straight edge, and I'm basically measuring down from the laser to where the spreader plates are. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get the straight edge, and I'm gonna pull it on top of the wall, because what I want to know is the difference in height between where the laser is to the top of the wall. So, we're going to turn the laser on and there's now a 360 degree laser line going all the way around the bungalow. So as you can see there, right next to the laser, we're at 170 from the top of the wall to the top of the laser. So we know at that point the laser beam going around the bungalow is 170mm above the wall and obviously we want to be higher than that. So we'll take a measure at the end of the wall there, so we can check to see how accurate it is. So you can see there, we're at just shy of 160, so just from that front to the back there, we're already 10 mil out. So because the numbers have got lower on that ruler, that means that that wall's actually 10 mil higher on that point than it is where the laser is. So we now just basically take random measurements throughout, so we can try and gauge how high or how low the wall is. So you can see there that was 22, so we know that the wall's lower, but we know that anyway because you can see that was the wall supporting the, um, the roof sole plate, so we know it's lower. But what is key is to make sure is that those spreader plates, the top of the spreader plate, is slightly higher than the position of the walls. So what we do now is we take a measurement from the top of the spreader beam, and we can see the measurement is reading at 190. So we know that when we come to putting the mortar under the spreader plate and raising it to the level that we need, we know that we've got to raise the spreader plate to just above 160. And that will mean we're just above that wall where the laser is, which is what we want, because we want the steel to be just above that. So what we can also do is now go around to all different points around the bungalow just to see how level the walls are around the bungalow. So if we now go to the second spreader plate, and we pull it down, we can see we're at 170. So you can see at the wall is about 20 mil out from left to right, just on this side, on that small distance. So we can make that up with the mortar, so it's not massive amounts, but we know that that spreader plate, we know we've only got to go slightly higher on the mortar compared to the other side. So if we now go to the corner over here with the spreader plate, bear in mind this spreader plate is only 20mm thick, not 30mm, so there should be a bigger gap. But you can see it's on spot on 170. So that means this corner of the bungalow is a lot higher than the first spreader plate that we measured. So although the spreader plate is only 20mm thick, we know we've just got to raise it on the mortar because it's actually a lot higher at that point in the corner. So it's only when you really start doing measurements like this that you start to see just how out some of the old buildings were. 
we'll just do some random measurements from the spreader plate so we'll travel to the other side of the bungalow just so we can rest the ruler on the other side and we'll do exactly the same it's a bit difficult to see because it's a bit further away and it's still daylight but just about to see that and we're at about 170 there so you know that's not far out so that's about right so the majority of the points are quite accurate as you're having a look on there if you can just see that we're at 170 there so we now know that between all four of the spreader plates we're a maximum of 20 mil at a level which isn't the end of the world and we can make that up with some mortar we'll then know that when we put the steels on top of the spreader plates we'll know that once the joists are sat on the trimmers in the web of the steel we'll definitely be clearing the bathroom wall and that living room wall there which is key so there you go that's the principle of doing it with the laser. But what you can see me doing now is setting up, drilling and fitting the spreader plate restraint straps. So these have to go on all the uh, spreader plates and they're basically designed to stop the spreader plates lifting off the bed of mortar. So they screw into the wall, pulling down nice and tight and it's a right angled bracket that sits over the top of the spreader plate. If you remember in my previous video I routed out some of the timber wall plate as well and I screwed the end of these restraint straps into the timber wall plate. So not only is it holding the spreader plate down nice and tight to the wall it's also screwed in and holding some of the wall plate down. I'll also have to fit these on the corner spreader plate and I also have to fit them I think every 1200 mil onto the timber wall plate itself so I basically chipped away some of the plaster just so I could recess these into the wall onto the brickwork and then we can board over them or plaster over them so it's just a case of setting them into position marking where the holes are going drilling them with a masonry bit, wall plugs and then screws Music